That's what his hair's for! Uh, Graham Graham? Come on, diver! Ah! Come on! Oh! Go! Caveman! Come on, you hairy Neanderthal! Pin flipper boy to the mat! Woo! Hit him with the ref! Come on! And get him! Go! Go! You know it's all staged, right? Oh, you don't have to tell me about wrestling. I once dated one of the meanest, bone breakingest neck twistingest cow bitingest wrestlers in the World Wide Wrestling League. Oh, gosh, he was cute. Graham Graham, what happened to the pillow? Graham Graham was just telling me about the wrestler she used to date. You used to date a big, tough, nasty wrestler? Remember, this was 50 years ago. It was probably someone like Nose Flicking Lad or the Cheek Pincher. Oh, yeah. The Stuffer and I were quite an item. The Stuffer? You dated the host of the World Wide Wrestling League? You know the Stuffer? Well, WW Duh. Everyone knows the Stuffer. Back in the day, he used to stuff things into his opponent's tights. I once saw him stuff a picnic table up a guy's shirt. Plus, a picnic and family of three. Back in the day? I saw it in the wrestling flashback special, Oldies But Hurties. Didn't he have this weirdo arch enemy? Ha! <laughs> Fancy you knowing about the masked prune. The what? Oh, no one ever knew the masked Prune's true identity. Oh, there were rumors. Some say he was an aristocrat, expelled from his country for playing rough croquet. Ah! Others say he was a Russian ballet dancer who had a breakdown during a 700th performance of Swan Lake. But whoever he was, one day he disappeared as mysteriously as he'd appeared. Oh, sorry, kids. What was it you wanted? Oh, yeah. Dad was sniffing the ice cubes for freshness again. His face is stuck in the freezer. And then I take his left thumb and I put it in his right ear. And then I take his right thumb and I put it in his left ear. That way, he can't hear me sneaking up behind him. Don't tell me you're seriously into this wrestling junk. It's not junk. Take that back. Okay. Excuse me. What have we here? Some geek auditioning for the Pirates of Penzance? I'm not a pirate. I'm the blacksmith. I beat my opponent's body parts into the shape of horseshoes. Ha ha ha! You couldn't even beat an egg. Huh? Help! It's a big egg. <laughs> you couldn't even wrestle rubber legs here. Leave Goon alone. I happen to know a personal friend of the stuffer, and when the WWL comes to town, he's going to give him some pointers. Really? Maybe the stuffer can explain to him that you need more than a mask and half a brain to be a wrestler. You also need guts. <laughs> It's a good thing you held me back. You really, like, know someone who knows the stuffer? Well, yeah, kind of. Is he really going to coach Goon? Um, you know. I'm going to be a champion! How's the champ? <sighs> I feel good. You're going to feel even better. My uncle got me four tickets to wrestle Rama, and I'm, like, giving this pair to you. No. Yes. No. Yes. Uh, what do I owe you? Nothing, but I figure
you're a guy with, like, your muscles. Could help me lift a few things up to my treehouse. I have two more, Julie, if you'd like to go. And do my science homework for a week. Oh, look! It's the Blackbird! Blacksmith! I think Blackbird is a better name for you. It's more like a chicken. Thanks for holding me back, Ace. I just like ten seconds in the ring with that big-headed goof. I'd... I'd... <gasps> no. Ooh. Dad, you know how keen Goon is to be a wrestler, right? Well, I wonder if you could ask Gram Gram to speak to her friend the Stuffer and see if you could give Goon a few wrestling pointers. Maybe get him into the show somehow. I mean, it is all staged, right? He can't get hurt. Gram Gram? Well, I haven't seen the Stuffer since I was uh, 21 years old. <laughs> well, that must be over uh, 15 years ago. Besides, wrestling ain't for kids. But they've had women in the ring and dwarves and bears. Since it's just entertainment anyway, why not a kid? Hmm, well, the stuffer's always looking for a gimmick. Let me give him a call. Thanks, Gram Gram. <laughs> tell your dad the car will be another day. And who are you supposed to be? The Blue Angel, championship contender, Guardian Angel Division. I got a great gimmick. You know how they can't hit you when you're in a neutral corner? Well, I invented... The Neutral Corner Backpack! Brilliant. So, what's the advice du jour? Here it is, Buster. You will not see your friend wrestle! Do I make myself clear? What do you mean I won't see him wrestle? Grand Graham already called the stuffer. He said it was a sure thing. It's a lock. Do you dare to contradict Blue Angel? Look, I'm doing a good deed for a friend. Leave me alone. Go change color or something. <laughs> me, wrestling with professionals. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> I'd run after you if Pelswick wasn't holding me back. Hold me back. Look, kid, I'm doing this for Priscilla for old times' sake. I don't want your boy to get hurt. So the jackhammer here is going to explain to you all the moves. You make sure your boy follows them exactly. Otherwise... I know the moves. This isn't, like, necessary, man. I've been watching Wednesday Night WrestleRama since I was seven, which is, like, three for most people. Goon, I had a long conversation with Mr. Hammer. You met the Jack Hammer? Yeah, he gave me some pointers for you. What are we waiting for? What did he say? Okay, first, when the hammer grabs you... He's gonna grab me? Yeah, just just scream and push his left shoulder. Yeah? That's his weak shoulder, huh? Yeah, sure. Just think. TV waves travel at the measly speed of light, which means, in person, I'll be seeing it four thousandths of a second before you get it at home. Welcome back, wrestling fans. Here's your host, The Stuffer, to announce tonight's... Wait, is that... I don't believe it. It's the mask, Haroon. It's been 50 years since the broom was last seen in the ring. Fifteen! Graham Graham? <sighs> the masked prune! Hmm. Thought I was all dried up, eh, Stuffer? No! No! I have awakened 
just like Rip Van Wrinkle. <laughs> this ain't over, Mask Broom. You're so cowardly and so ugly, you dare not show your face! Next time, I'll stuff four pounds of blue cheese up that mask! You hear me, Prune? Even if it takes another 50 years! 15! Now, folks, a local boy called the Blacksmith is going to tackle three-time golden belt holder, Jack Hammer! Jack Hammer is fighting a local junior high student and, coincidentally, a friend of my niece, Sandra Scuttle, who's with us tonight. Thank you, Uncle Mike. And let me, like, say, my only regret is that my best friend, Julie, is missing this because she's such a pig-headed, prideful busspot! <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you know? Mr. Jimmy was wrong. I did see my friend wrestle. I'm not your friend. I'm nobody's friend. I'm the Blacksmith. Huh? <laughs> I'm a lean, mean, horseshoe-eating machine! And for my next match, I challenge Bored Scalarzo, the well-known chicken impersonator, to a steel cage suspended over boiling tar garage match! You hear me, Skullunkhead? Don't make me come out and get you! about the masked prune showing up last night, huh? Wasn't that fun seeing your friend wrestle? <sighs> I saw him wrestle, but apparently he's not my friend. Oh, Stuffer's had dozens of calls about the boiling tar thing. He's gonna promote the heck out of it. I'd better talk to him. I know you're worried about your friend, but this thing's bigger than both of us. We can't cheat that audience out of the wrestling event of the year. But Boyd's a real bully, and Goon's just... The blacksmith. Okay, the blacksmith, whatever. He can't pull this off. He didn't beat the jackhammer, we staged it, right? Goon... The blacksmith? The stupid blacksmith? You know, he couldn't fight his way out of a paper bag. Paper bags? I like it. Two wrestlers, two bags, they don't come out of the ring till one of them's been folded. But, no, listen. And we filled the bags with fire ants. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I like the way you think, kid. Here's two front rows for the grudge match. Take a friend. Actually, I figure Goon's got a 50% chance of getting seriously hurt. You should tell him it was rigged before this goes to his head. I'll see if I know anyone who knows him. Hope you like boiling tar, Scalarzo. The blacksmith's gonna make sure it's real hot for you. I hope he likes the taste of anvil. <laughs> you mean those little fish you put on pizza? No, not those little fish you put on pizza. The whole school's got wrestle fever. Uh-huh. I'm MC BP and you know that. Put on your beard because you're gonna eat some mat. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Julie, aren't you sorry your foolish pride made you miss the big fight? Actually, I didn't miss it. 
It hasn't happened yet. Where are you? I can't tell you now, but it's something I have to do. Gotta go. I am now the Raja. I put my opponents on the magic carpet of pain. Uh, what's with the sheep? That's Alibaba. Get it? Bah! Cause it's a sheep! Yeah, I get it. Could we do some guardian angeling while you're here? Only for a minute. I left my camel double parked. How do I save Goon? You mean the blacksmith! Okay, okay, the blacksmith! You can't, for he will lose to... The Crusher! The Crusher? Who's the Crusher? Sorry, gotta go. That's my electric pencil sharpener. <laughs> oh, that tickles. <laughs> my definition, my former trainer slash manager, Mr. Eggert. Goon, uh... <laughs> Mr. Smith to you. I guess you want to hear the details of my upcoming grudge match. I'll tell you the details. You're going to lose. Lose? L-O-S-H? Eh, that's Losh. You know who you're talking to. I don't need you or anybody else. I can do this on my own, for I am... Let's <laughs> Poor goon. It's all my fault for letting this get out of hand. And when poor goon ends up as a lump of tar-covered street pizza, that'll be my fault too. This week, the blacksmith takes on point the bully's colazo in a cage of a boiling tar grudge match! Hey, you! Oh, hey, don't! We're on the air! I want to tell that onion-livered chicken impersonator, Boyd Scalarzo, I'm going to tear him limb from limb from limb from... How many limbs is that? I think you got one left. From limb! I'm going to stuff my head down his throat and steal his wallet! Smatter! Goon's gonna get beat up and thrown out of a tiny cage into a bucket of hot tar. Cool. What's that? A phone booth, dude, for you to tear in half. Uh, I said phone book. Oh. Gummy limbs? I'm not hungry. Poor Goon. Even though he turned into a jerky friend, He's my jerky friend. In five more minutes, he's gonna get whomped by the crusher. The who? Wait. For he will lose to... The crusher! Who's the crusher? Boyd isn't the crusher. Of course. Kate, I need you to do me a favor. If you're going to be a world famous wrestler, you'll need a manager. How much money do managers get? Oh, all of it. Huh? Uh, good. Save me having to count it. This is a private dressing room, bozos. The uh, bozo at. Um, you never finished your training, goon. I want to introduce you to the crusher. You want me to wrestle your little sister? You two chicken blackberry. <laughs> That's Blacksmith, Buck, Buck, Buckock. Maybe I should teach you a lesson. Don't worry. I've been personally assured that nothing can happen to you. That's the arm they have to hold up when I win. Come on, Goon. Do some of those moves my brother taught you. <laughs> They don't seem to be working. Thanks, Kate. You can let him go now, Kate. I'm sorry, Goon. 
No one was supposed to get hurt, and no one would have been, until tonight anyway. Don't you see what happened? Yeah... I need another six months of training! Then, pow! Smash! Look out! Oh, manager! Ex-manager! Loser! Come on, Julie. Let's go to Burger Barrel so you can forgive me. Okay. But first, I have one little stop to make. Thanks. I finally figured out the clue! What clue? Oh, hey, meet the Crusher. Meet the... This is the Crusher? You mean Kate wasn't the Crusher? Kate? She's seven years old! But I... I she was... She could have... Uh, what do you mean you ain't fighting? Don't worry, Mr. Stuffer. Pelswick found a substitute. Where are you, goon? Slight change, folks. Instead of the blacksmith, Boyd Scalarzo will be fighting the Masked Peru. The Masked Peru! Help! Oh, help! And holy smokes, there seems to be some unplanned action in the center ring. 